my name is Dr. Tariana Little and I graduated with a BA from UMass Boston in 2012 and I graduated with an MS in 2017, so I'm a double beacon. Initially, I wanted to become a McNear Scholar because other serious students who wanted to go to graduate school, particularly who wanted to go into doctoral studies, were McNear Scholars. They spoke so highly about it. There were so many benefits to being a scholar. There was tuition support, there was tutoring, there were modules and workshops on grad school prep, there was GRE score support, and just um, having that support for growing professionally in that way in all the ways in which would make you competitive for PhD studies. So for me, it was about community and also tangible resources that can position me for success in that particular path. That part of being a fellow, I had to do hands-on research and so, uh, and it was paid. So I was able to work at the uh, Gaston Institute for Latino Public Policy and Community Development as a research assistant to the ED and work on causes that I care about and continuing to hone my research skills, my presentation skills and um, growing as an emerging researcher in the ways that would also position me competitively for grad school. So it was very much hands-on work that was also paid so I could fully focus on the work and not have to worry about how am I going to pay my bills being a full-time student. As a McNear Scholar, other resources that were available to me were workshops on grad school prep. You know, simple things like when you go for a graduate school interview, here's how to behave, here's what to expect, right? These are sort of like unspoken rules that can make or break opportunities for students, especially students from underserved backgrounds who don't have knowledge to those cultural components of higher education. So things like that I remember because when I went for my grad school interviews, I'm like, oh, here's how I'm supposed to behave. Here are the questions to ask, right? Um, here's how to approach it from a strategic perspective. So I can, I can, you know, point to specific moments in my career where that was helpful. In addition, having access to other scholars of color who can come and say, this is what I went through. This is how you too can be successful is super important because we need role models to be able to see ourselves in a certain future. And so I remember feeling inspired by the people who would come in to give workshops and lectures. The value of being a McNear Scholar is, is twofold. One, on a tangible perspective, you're part of a cohort community on campus and you're getting access to specialized education and training and a support structure through hands-on research, mentoring, tutoring, and the financial support piece that is critical for underrepresented students to succeed. The other part is that as a graduate, you're now part of a national and international alumni community that has also gone through this amazing opportunity and that really is passionate about educational equity, about success for all the McNear scholars and really contributing our time and talent for society. So you get the mentorship and the experience as you're a student and also you're now part of this much larger community of supporters and resources afterward. The best piece of advice that I got when I was applying to McNear Scholar was apply now. And stupidly, I did not do that. You know, I waited. I waited because I wasn't sure if it was right for me. And once I did apply, literally, I went in, I, I had the application, I went, had an interview with the program director. She accepted me on the spot by the strength of my resume and my application and references. And I thought, oh my God, I could have done this years sooner. Why did I wait so long given all the amazing things that I heard? So for students that are thinking about it, even if you are curious and you don't, you don't think you're prepared, you don't think that you know, PhD studies are for you. If you have any inkling at all, any interest, apply now, today. Give yourself that opportunity of time. One of the best pieces of advice that I learned from other people that had gone through the doctoral level experience is that finding a PhD program that's right for you is like a marriage, right? Finding the right partner because you're committing your life for several years in a really intense way to a program that is going to change you and influence you. So it's super critical for that to be a good fit. When I was a McNear Scholar, I had my hopes set on being a PhD student and being a PhD level researcher using science to promote health equity. After graduate school, I was a PhD student and I was in that path for several years looking at the impact of storytelling interventions. And I realized over time, I am not, um, I'm not using the best of my talents being a researcher. I want to have community impact. And I actually co-founded a media agency as a PhD student. I ended up dropping out of PhD studies to pursue my dream 
and ended up continuing doctoral studies else, elsewhere at Harvard in a much better fit for a program that allowed me to use my time and talent in a more creative and dynamic way. So if I had an advice for students that are looking into PhD programs or graduate programs, be flexible about the process. You know, fully understand what you want, what you're seeking to get out of a program, and think about what are you really passionate about and what you want to spend time doing and pursue that. Don't let anyone else dream for you, pursue your own dreams. As a result of the impact that UMass Boston has had on me and my husband and business co-founder, who's also a UMass Boston graduate, this year in 2022, we created the Envision Social Impact Scholarship Fund to support students in the Critical Ethnic and Community Studies Master's Program as a way of making sure that other students have access to education and the financial barriers will not get in the way of their amazing work.